How you doing, YouTube? Dr. Kemp here, Hammond Doc. And in this video, I will continue my discussion of the vibrato and vibrato chorus control switch on the Hammond organ. And as I have shown in previous uh, videos relating to this subject, this is the book that I am using, and so I'm going to read to you from this book uh, about the vibrato control and chorus control. Now, in this particular, in the last video, I dealt specifically with the vibrato aspect of the control switch. In this, in this uh, session, I'm going to deal specifically with the vibrato chorus control. So let me show you where that is. You have to depress the vibrato swell to be able to use the, the upper keyboard and the vibrato grate switch for the lower keyboard. So cut them on then that allows you to use this vibrato and vibrato chorus control switch. Now as I said in the last video I dealt with vibrato 1, V1, V2, and V3 and I played uh, each of them at each of those uh, positions so that you could hear what it sounded like. In this video I'm going to let you hear what C1 which is referred to as Vibrato Chorus 1, C2, Vibrato Chorus 2, and C3, Vibrato Chorus 3, sounds like. I have my Hammond organ set so that the, the, the draw bars of the registration, the draw bars are pulled out here. Um, I have this set up for a heavy bass, the second set here is pulled out and I have my slow rotor on my 122 totally off. I have them unplugged. But before I do any demonstration on the organ, I want to read to you this uh, next paragraph here. I read the first paragraph in the last video, but I want to read this second paragraph because it relates directly to what I'm going to talk about in this video. And then I'll come back in another video and we'll look at uh, comparing and contrasting the, the, the effects or the sounds of the vibrato versus the vibrato chorus. But in this video, we're going to talk specifically about the vibrato chorus. Okay, so here's what this says in this paragraph. It says, vibrato chorus is a celestial-like effect. Vibrato and non-vibrato tones are mixed in equal amounts. This is desirable when a French horn without vibrato is played with a violin with vibrato. Chorus, when playing single notes, gives the effect of several solo instruments playing together. So, chorus when playing single notes. So we can we can do that. We can play uh, some single notes here. Let's do let's do some single notes. when playing single notes gives the effect of several solo instruments playing together. Now it goes on to say vibrato 1, V1, which we talked about in the last uh, video, is the accepted amount of vibrato for church 
music. Well, that statement, and the reason I'm stopping is because this is my first time reading this. And that statement is, seems to be, on surface, in somewhat, not too much, I don't think, of a conflict, but somewhat of a conflict with the previous statement that I read when I first started doing these, these videos, which says that um, vibrato is seldom used when playing church music. So I guess what this is saying is that when vibrato is used in playing church music, it's seldom used in playing church music, but when it is used in playing church music, V1, vibrato 1, is the accepted amount of vibrato. Okay, so V1 is the accepted amount of vibrato for church music. So it's not really it's not really a conflict, but it's just something that caught my attention because of what was read earlier. That is, and I'll say it again, that vibra vibrato is it's seldom used when it's used when playing church music. But down here it goes on to say is that V1, that is when you use V1, it is the accepted V or any of, of all the V's, V1, V2, and V3 of the three V's, three settings or positions of vibrato, vibrato, vibrato 1 is the accepted amount of vibrato for church music. All right, I'm learning some things today. <laughs> I hope you are too. Then it goes on to say C1, that is vibrato is that's referred to as vibrato chorus is sometimes used for hymns and post ludes so uh, for my friends out there that are you guys that are the professional musicians professional organists that uh, read music and that know the theory and understand the theory uh, my friend Lynn Andrews what's up Lynn uh, up there in New Jersey, you understand all of that. You understand that technical that that te the technical aspects of that language. But this is saying that C one vibrato chorus one is sometimes used for hymns and postludes. So let's let's listen to um, vib. Uh, vibrato chorus one and see what it sounds like now again now this is with that's this is with the chorale turned off so chorale is turned off because I just want you to be able to hear the purity of the vi vibrato chorus uh, in fact um, before I play anything in particular uh, I'm going to take you through the, the C1 C2 and C3 so that you can hear what they sound like. Let's do that first and then I'll come back and, and play something. Alright, so it's set right now at C1. Turn it on. This is C1. C2. C3. This is C1.
you hear what that was C1 let's let's hear what C2 sounds like that's vibrato chorus 2 and then vibrato chorus 3 I'm going to pan out so that you can see me switching this in some of the keyboard here all right we're going to go C1 C2 plug in so I this thing gets loud so I had to uh, that's what I was doing for a while I was playing I'm trying to put my earplug in and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in I need to get my good earplugs from upstairs but all right here we go now I'm gonna go See, when I have these earplugs in, it's hard for me to tell how loud I'm talking because I can hear myself. But here we go. Um, I'm going to use C3 this time. Now it's on C2. C3. out. C3 is what I typically will set my organ on when I'm playing and whenever I use the vibrato uh, grate and vibrato swell, I typically set mine on uh, C3, vibrato course 3. I like that sound. Uh oh, I was playing the tremolo. I hit that tremolo switch, and I didn't mean to do that. So let me let me let you hear what it sounds with pure uh, vibrato C3 without the tremolo. Okay. <laughs>
that tremolo. I keep hitting that tremolo. Tremolo. I need to unplug it, but you get the gist. This is what it sounds like. That's enough because I get too carried away here. Get too excited. Boy, I love playing the Hammond organ. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for your gift of the Hammond B3 organ. There's nothing else that moves the soul like the Hammond B3 organ. There's just not, there's nothing else that does it this way. <laughs> So whenever I, whenever I start hearing the music, whether it's me playing or somebody else, as, lo as long as it's anointed, when it's anointed, oh, what, man, what are you talking about? I just love it. I love the Hammond organ. You know, sometimes people ask and say, I'm, I'm, I'm going off of what I was dealing with, but sometimes people ask, well, what's your favorite instrument? I, <sighs> man, I, I tell them, I was called to play the Hammond organ. That's why, I mean, I love the piano, love playing the piano, but... There's nothing like a Hammond B3 organ. One of the greatest inventions of mankind in the history of the world. This is Dr. Kim, Hammond Doc, saying to you, peace out.